objective of the video in this video we are going to learn how graph of a quadratic equation is changed if we change any of the values of a b and c which are the coefficients of quadratic equation in standard form general form of standard quadratic equation the general form of standard quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a b and c are numbers a is not equal to 0 and x is an unknown replacement of a b and c by numbers if we replace a b and c by numbers and do not give a a value equal to 0 then we get different quadratic equations in standard form graph of quadratic equation the graph of a quadratic equation is a plane symmetrical open curve called parabola each quadratic equation can be graphically represented by a parabola let's move to the main point how the shape of parabola is changed if we change any of the values of a b and c what does a determine the quadratic coefficient a determines whether the parabola is open upwards or downwards and the amount of quadratics or curvedness in the parabola direction of parabola if the value of a is positive the parabola is open upwards like a positive smile if the value of a is negative the parabola is open downwards like a negative frown change in sign of a inverse the parabola the first figure is the graph of the quadratic equation y is equal to x square and the second figure is the graph of the quadratic equation y is equal to minus x square. The value of a in the first equation is 1 whereas the value of a in the second equation is minus 1. It is clear from both the figures if we change the sign of a the parabola is inverted. What does the increase in a do? If we increase the absolute value of A, the quadratics of the curve is also increased. Both the parts of the parabola get close to each other and axis of symmetry also. Increase in A increases the quadratics. The first figure is the graph of the quadratic equation y is equal to x square and the second figure is the graph of the quadratic equation y is equal to 2x square. The value of A in the first equation is 1, whereas the value of A in the second equation is 2. It is clear from both the figures, if we increase the value of A, the quadratics of the graph is also increased. What does the decrease in A do? If we decrease the absolute value of A, the quadratics of the curve is also decreased. Both parts of the parabola move away from each other and axis of symmetry also. By decreasing the absolute value of A more and more, the parabola approaches to a straight line. When A becomes 0, all the quadratics of the curve is removed and it becomes a straight line and equation becomes a linear equation. That is why we say A cannot have a value equal to 0 in quadratic equations. Decrease in A decreases the quadratics. The first figure is the graph of the quadratic equation y is equal to 2x square and the second figure is the graph of the quadratic equation y is equal to x square. The value of a in the first equation is 2 whereas the value of a in the second equation is 1. It is clear from both the figures if we decrease the value of a the quadratics of the graph is also decreased. How can we find the value of A from a given graph of quadratic equation? The value of A can be determined from the graph of quadratic equation as First we find vertex from the graph. 
then we pick a point of the graph and then we use vertex form of quadratic equation to find the value of a let's practice find value of a from the graph given below pick the vertex and a point and use the vertex form the vertex of the parabola is hk equals to minus 1 4 pick a point on the parabola i pick xy equal to 0 5 using vertex form and substituting the value of x y h and k we get a is equal to 1 what is b the linear coefficient b is the slope of tangent at y intercept of the parabola what does the change in b do when we change the value of b the slope of the tangent at y intercept of the parabola is changed because of this change the parabola moves left right as well as up down without any change in y intercept when b is zero if we make b equal to zero the tangent at y intercept becomes a horizontal line the y axis becomes the axis of symmetry of the parabola what does increase in b do if we increase the value of b from zero to positive values the slope of tangent becomes positive it goes upwards from left to right it becomes steeper and steeper with increase in b the vertex of parabola in this case lies on the left hand side of the axis of symmetry increase in b increases the slope of tangent the first figure is the graph of the equation y is equal to x square plus x and the second figure is the graph of the equation y is equal to x square plus 2x the value of b in the first equation is 1 whereas the value of b in the second equation is 2 it is clear from both the figures if we increase the value of b the slope of tangent of parabola at y intercept is also increased what does decrease in b do if we decrease the value of b from zero to negative values the slope of tangent becomes negative it goes downwards from left to right it becomes steeper and steeper with decrease in b the vertex of parabola in this case lies on the right hand side of the axis of symmetry decrease in b decreases the slope of tangent the slope is negative for negative values of b the first figure is the graph of the equation y is equal to x square minus x and the second figure is the graph of the equation y is equal to x square minus 2x the value of b in the first equation is minus 1 and the value of b in the second equation is minus 2 it is clear from both the figures if we decrease the value of b the slope of tangent of parabola at y intercept is also decreased trend of parabola while changing the value of b when b approaches to zero the tangent at y intercept approaches horizontal line and when the value of b goes away from zero the tangent at y intercept approaches vertical line how can we determine the value of b from a given graph of a quadratic equation to calculate the value of b from a graph we have to draw an accurate tangent line at the y intercept of the parabola then we find the slope of this tangent it gives the value of b alternatively first we calculate a and then use equation of axis of symmetry to find the value of b let's practice find value of b from the given graph method one if we draw a tangent on y intercept of the graph it is a horizontal line y is equal to minus 5 the slope of a horizontal line is always 0 so value of b is 0 method two first we find a vertex hk is 0 minus 5 
point x y is minus 3 4 using vertex form and substituting the value of x y h and k we get a is equal to 1 then using axis of symmetry equation x is equal to minus b by 2a and substituting the value of x and a we get b is equal to 0 what is c the constant term c in the standard form of quadratic equation represents y intercept of graph of equation it is the point on the graph that lies on the y axis being on y axis the x coordinate of this point is 0 and y coordinate gives the value of c c is y intercept of the parabola the given graph is the graph of the equation y is equal to x square plus 1 in this equation the value of c is 1 in the graph the parabola intersect the y axis at a point where value of y is 1 what does change in c do if we change the value of c the parabola moves up or down by increasing value of c the parabola moves upwards and by decreasing value of c the parabola moves downwards increase in c moves the parabola upwards the first figure is the graph of the equation y is equal to x square and the second figure is the graph of the equation y is equal to x square plus 1 the value of c in the first equation is 0 whereas it is 1 in the second equation it is clear from both the figures if we increase the value of c the graph of the quadratic equation is moved upwards decrease in c moves the parabola downwards the first figure is the graph of the equation y is equal to x square and the second figure is the graph of the equation y is equal to x square minus 1 the value of c in the first equation is 0 whereas the value of c in the second equation is minus 1 it is clear from both the figures if we decrease the value of c the parabola is moved downwards summary by changing value of a the shape of the parabola is changed and by changing value of b or c the position of the parabola is changed and this is the end of this video goodbye